Hello everyone, my name's Brian, and welcome to the video I threatened to make all those months ago, which is Dredge. Again, now that Dredge has a new toy. And what is the new toy, you might ask? It is indeed Scrap Work Mutt, as seen here. So Scrap Work Mutt, essentially just a little 2-1 for 2. When it enters the battlefield, you may discard a card if you do draw a card. And this just allows you to get your Dredge engine on faster. It also has Unearth, so you can do this twice. It also triggers Prized Amalgam and all those wonderful things. Other than that, this is a pretty basic Dredge list. Three Ox of Agonis, four Creeping Chills, four Silver Smoke Ghoul, four Stinkweed Imps, four Prized Amalgams, four Narc Amoebas, four Golgari Thugs, four Cathartic Reunions, two Thrilling Discoveries. Looks like they traded some of the Thrilling Discoveries for the Scrapwork Mutts, three Otherworldly Gaze, and a one of Fun of Tomb Scour, which just mills over five cards. So it's not as versatile as Otherworldly Gaze. It also doesn't have flashback, but hey, I'm game to try it. Four Dark Blasts, again, another important treasure. Also kills Ragavan and Darcy's. The lands are pretty interesting. It has the four gemstone caverns, so technically this is one of those you always want to be on the draw decks. Sometimes I forget to do that. <laughs> Uh, sometimes I forget to do that or I'm forced to be on the play. There, there are all sorts of things that can happen here. But three Arid Mesa, two Blood Crip, one Dakmore Salvage, which is the Dredge Land, which I actually haven't used online, I don't think. Two Sacred Foundries for your Thrilling Discoveries. Scalding Tarns, just as fetches. And finally, a Stomping Ground for the sideboard cards, which are Nature's Claim, which is the one essentially pure green card to take out your opponent's hate pieces. Soulkind Lanterns to try and take on your opponent's graveyard shenanigans. Two Ancient Grudges, again, an anti-graveyard hate piece. Three Inquisitions of Kozilex, again, just looking to snipe your opponent's hand, so hopefully you can go off. Ray of Revelation, which is actually amazing versus Rest in Peace, because you get to have the Rest in Peace trigger go on the stack, and then you get to flash it back in that instance. And three Prismatic Endings, again, just pieces to try and take out your opponent's hate pieces, because everybody, everybody, everybody is going to be playing uh, hate pieces against Graveyard. The best deck in the game... <laughs> Uh, Murktide uses graveyards heavily. Pretty much any red deck, in my opinion, should be running Darcy, Bobble, and Ragavan, so everybody's going to be doing something with their graveyard. So pretty much you need to go fast, which is what these gemstone caverns are for, to try and go off on turn zero or turn one, and just overwhelm your opponent before they can respond to anything. Now, last time I didn't do too great in my last dredge video. I think I went four, no, one and four, uh, which is awful. But hey, let's go ahead and jump into some games and see how it goes this time. Join me, won't you? All right, here we are, and we lost the die roll, but little does our opponent know that's exactly what we want. Head and move this out way. Wonderful, go away, thank you. All right, what do we have here? I have a turn to cathartic with one stick. Think we am, and that's about it. I'm gonna keep. I don't know what my opponent's doing, and if we find any fetch land, we're fine. Other than that, though, like we have two lands and a dredger, which is really what you want. Tron. Okay, so we, we can be faster than Tron. It depends on how good this cathartic is. We draw. <laughs> oh, oh, game. We'll play this tapped. Uh, actually, we drew the gemstone caves. I suppose we could have kept that to dredge with it. Wow, I am rusty with dredge. Long time viewer of the channel will know, it was the first video I uploaded. This is like going to be my seventh or so dredge video, but I swear you need to stay on dredge to be good with it because it's such a different version of magic. Oh, they're going to have Tron turn three. So we need to do this right now and we need to be awesome at it. What needs to happen? What do we draw? Another Stinkweed Imp. Okay, so maybe, maybe, maybe we'll get out of this yet. Arctic, card, those two, and to the races. All right, so we're going to have a whole bunch come out. And next turn, if they play Karn, hopefully we're fast enough to just ignore Karn. We also get to Scrap Work Mutt next turn, which isn't as good as Ox of Agonis, even though we have Oxes in our graveyard, because our land just didn't work out perfectly this time. We do have another Stinkweed Imp, though, to keep dredging. So already I like Scrap Work Mutt. All right, here comes Tron, and what do you got, opponent? Karn the Great Creator. Uh, oh, is he just going to get a uh, Ensnaring Bridge immediately? It's going to be so sad if that's what happens. Please don't get Ensnaring Bridge. Please don't get Ensnaring Bridge. Ormod's Crypt. Oh, yeah, that is also a pretty good joke. Uh, he can keep searching for... Oh, no, because it only gets our graveyard. Okay, so... As I said at the beginning of this video, everybody, everybody, everybody is going to have a uh, hate. So they're going to get Tormod's Crypt again, but we have to kill Karn pretty much. Wow, this game went real south real quick. <laughs> it's almost like Dredge is not a viable archetype game anymore. That's so weird. Another Stinkweed. Well, at least we get to keep casting those. So, Karn, Karn, 
opponent. They can scrap Trawler the Tormod's Crypt back. That's fine. I mean, we're going to be moving a little slow at this point. Oh, they just didn't block. Oh, and I tapped through my turn. I am so bad at magic. I was expecting a block and everything. Mystic Forge, wow. Wowie zowie. Chromatic Sphere, sure thing. Oh, but okay. So he can Chromatic Sphere, crack it, get his thing back. And he could just Tormod Crypt as many times as he wants. This is a Scrap Trawler, which is why he didn't block. That's interesting. Another Karn. Plus it's a Thrag Tusk, but I think he needs one more mana. Thrag Tusk. If it's another Everflowing Chalice. This is an interesting list. Ancient Stirring, sure. Another, okay, so there's Karn, the Great Creator. So it's going to be next turn. Chromatic Star, sure. Might as well attack because I know you're not going to block with that thing. All right, a land. So we can kind of force his hand a little bit here so let's go to combat I just attack with everything zero percent chance he blocks oh really i think it's the sphere hmm. all right so sacred foundry untapped they're at 12 we can put them to nine with creeping chill or we can force them to blow up the thing by thrilling discovery discarding a thug and a stinkweed i think that's fine we'll get rid of these two guys i think we'd imp we need a dark blast at all probably not we'll put thug back in our hand uh thug again there is okay so here's the the triggers so if he's going to do anything, he's going to do it now. The good news here is we have seven cards in hand. So next turn, we can just discard or we can just play a thug. I'm just going to play a thug and just try and overflow the field here. The next turn, we have uh, Creeping Chill. But he's going to be able to Karn and get probably a Walking Ballista. This feels like Thrag Tusk now because he, he specifically made green. Otherwise, you just play Karn. Semblance and Oh, it's a grinding station combo. I didn't see that coming. Goth had a hand. Another anvil. But Jingatha under the anvil. And I have no idea what this guy's doing. So at this point, I just want to see where he goes with it. They're wellsprings. So drawing cards. Who's he targeting? He doesn't have his um dude, though. Because if he had the scrap troll. Oh, no. Okay, so now he has a mirror retriever. So now he can get things out of the graveyard and kill himself and mill me. The problem is, unfortunately, we can't kill him with our creeping chills. We had uh, a couple more creeping chills in the in the library. There's only one in the library. Then he would just kill himself. He doesn't know we have a creeping chill in our hand, though. So maybe that stops him for a turn. Who knows? He's just continuing to sacrifice stuff. Things are... Like, he's, he's trading with Mirror Retriever and Scrap Trawler, which is, like, I think how Lantern used to work. The, the Lantern grinding station thing. But if I knew what he was doing, I would just scoop and tell you what he's doing. But quite honestly, I haven't the foggiest. He's milling himself, so what is he looking for? Like, is the whole thing after all of this just to cast a uh, Thassa's Oracle off of, like, Sphere and Star Mana? I'm not entirely sure what he's doing here. Like, there's some way he wins, but I, I honestly don't know what it is. I guess he could also have a Lab Man? The good news is we have a thousand things to bring in. It's just you wonder what you take out in situations like this, because you have to be quick. You don't want to spend all of your mana or all of your main board, like, plans, like, trying to get this guy. He's got nothing in his graveyard anymore. He doesn't have any red mana, so it's not Grape Shot. He doesn't have... There's Karn the Great Creator. He's going to get something from outside the game game what's the artifact that lets you win walking ballista sure oh is that how it works is he making positive mana so far no Wait, so how is he making positive mana? Because he is making positive mana. This needs to be kicked. Oh, I guess with the anvil, it costs two less. So he's looping these two creatures. And every time he does that, he gets to pull out an ever-flowing chalice, which comes into play untapped, which then nets him one mana. Uh, as you can see here, he is at 20 mana. So he should, in but a moment, be at 22 mana and then play a walking ballista for 21 and then it's safe to scoop. <laughs> Uh, so I have to admit, I haven't seen this version of Tron before, but it worked. Uh, also, this is just like a random combo deck that you probably won't run into a lot when you're playing on Midgo. And this guy had <laughs> Graveyard Hate on turn four. Actually, no, it was turn three, wasn't it? Because he used Tron. So yeah, how about that? Uh, you can expect to just lose to uh, Graveyard Hate pretty much immediately. Pretty much the first thing that's going to happen in uh this is a game one this is a game one and, and we've very much lost so we're going to go ahead and call this here because he just makes uh, a walking ballista and murderizes us he's going for some sort of overkill here now for reasons i don't quite understand um but there's no cards left in deck so i think it's safe to say i know what's about to happen here so i'm just gonna scoop skis all right so very easy we have ancient grudges which seem good Prismatic, oh, and he scoops the match. You won game one, dude. I don't, um, sure. 
on to game two. All right, we have won the die roll, uh, but we don't want to play first with deck. Or do we? Probably don't. Or do we? Probably don't. So no, we don't want to go first. Okay, so there's the gemstone cavern, but no second land. So we were so close to this being just like amazing. So let's maul. Okay, so there's no red card here, but I don't think it gets better. So keep, we'll put steam. No, we'll put amalgam to the bottom. Play gemstone caverns, exile gemstone caverns. All right, so now if we can find a blue card or a red card, we're in business. Please play a creature. Please, please, please play, play, play. A cre or, or hand disruption us. Yay! Undo yield. Hey, did I undo yield in time? No, no, no. Don't, don't you dare yield through this turn. Don't you dare. Mitgo, Mitgo, please. Okay. <sighs> Praise the Moto Gods. Yes. All right. We got, we nipped the Ragavan. And we could do this because we have lands in our hand. Ooh, and we get to Otherworldly Gaze. So Steam Vent untapped and we pass. If he does something like um, Grief Us, we should be fine. There's a Bloodstained Mire. There's a Bloodstained Mire in tanks for a bit. Another Ragavan. Um, we're just going to wait until his end step and then Dark Blast it? I'm not entirely sure what he thought was going to happen. I have a Stinkweed Imp in my graveyard. Actually, do we take Dark Blast again? We probably take Dark Blast. So we found an Ox of Agonis. We can't do much about that. We can play this on tap, though. So we can Otherworldly Gaze and Dark Blast this next turn. We're not really in any rush here. He's not going to have Graveyard Hate in his opening 60, I don't think. He might. If he does it right now somehow, I'm going to look real silly. I think we're just playing against Scam. Another Bloodstained Mire. Want to pass? All right, so blue and who cares? And Otherworldly Gaze. Bin, bin. Oh, went over there now. Bin. Here comes a free 1-1. One, one. And we get to pull a Stinkweed in. Another Narc Amoeba. Comes into play. Um, uh, we'll swing and then we'll ox. I mean, even when you have to give up on some cards, oxing is always correct, especially when you have three mana. So I'm going to get to hold up Dark Blast anyway. Ox of Agonis, red, red. Then we eat all the unimportant stuff first and see how many we have to still get. We have to get rid of three. So Smote and Smote are easy. And then well, I guess we get rid of Thug. Uh, in fact, we're even going to put one of the Smotes back and get rid of one of the Imps because we have an Imp in hand. We have three Dredgers in hand. So let's do that. First things first, Stinkweed Imp and then Stinkweed Imp. And then Dark Blast? Probably Dark Blast. Just in case they try and throw out another 1-1-S. One, one and somehow have removal for everything we have on the field right now. Because they could have Bolts in hand. But keeping up Dark Blast, I feel, is a little more important. And our Silver Smoke Ghoul is even going to get to come out, which is nice. Alright, everything is hitting the field. I feel pretty good about this board state. What do you guys think? And they scoop. All right. So what does Scam use as their graveyard hate? Probably unlicensed hearse. So ancient grudges are good. Sold guide lanterns are fine. I don't know if that's what we're going for here. And prison endings wouldn't even be bad by any stretch of the imagination. What's well, bad, I guess. Um, hmm. I guess we could take out Tomb Scour and we could take out like uh, two thugs. Take out one more card, maybe one ghoul. Put in these four and see if we lose horribly. If we lose horribly, then we need to bring in the Frizz endings, but let's try it like that. Now, if he forces us to play first, that's the that's the smart move. He did not force us to play first. Um, We don't have a red card, but we have an Otherworldly Gaze. This is also only a six card hand because of the Narc Amoeba, but the Otherworldly Gaze is going to let us kind of search a little bit. Soul Guy and Lantern will let us exile their yard or do we mull to find something more explosive i think you know what i'm going to do all right this hand is infinitely worse good good mulling brian good job good job our opponent also mulled which leads me to believe he's mulling for graveyard hate which super means we should have kept that other hand but oops we can actually keep a relatively low carded hand though and still be fine in this matchup because i mean their deck kind of revolves around hand disruption and if we Ah, this is fine. So keep, put that back, put mm, that back. We are going to have to give up on one of our imps. Leyline of the Void. Oh, okay. So we were wrong. We were wrong. We were wrong. We were wrong. Do we have anything that stops Leyline of the Void? I don't think we do. We only brought in Artifact Hate because we thought they were going to be on Unlicensed Hearse. And we were very wrong. All right. So this, this one's probably pretty open and shut, but... I don't think he's going to see much anyway. See what he plays. All right, well, now's the time to see if we can find something useful with otherwise. Not really. We're just going to scoop here and try again. Okay, so... Ancient grudges, no. Nature's claims, very yes. Uh, his endings are also kind of, I guess rays of revelations are good. We need, so like we put in the two ray of revelations and that kind of fixes the oopsies, but we kind of need a little bit more than that. I guess we completely give up on the whole soul guide lantern thing. We just put in these. We just need to nip one card here. So what if we nip another silver smoke? Try that. All right, would we like to play first? No, I still think we don't. The 
The good thing here is it forces our opponents to... Oh, he kept an opening seven. So that could mean a million things. If it's another ley line of the void, I guess we can try. I mean, we don't We don't have the... Yep, no, nope, there's a ley line of the void. So he just found it in his opening. We don't have the haha -ha land, but we do have quite a bit of redraw to try our best to fight through that. This is just a Ragaman. Well, this has become problematic almost immediately. All right, so that's gone. Normally, you don't even worry that hard about, like, opening hate, because normally you can kind of fight your way through it. But I guess we didn't mold to a hand that had it, so that's on us. And this guy clearly has very good, you know, dredge, the other word? dredge etiquette. So he's, he's uh, like, no, 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 I'm just going to mold till I have it. And he just happened to have it on his open seven. Uh, nope, none of these are going to do anything. So bin, bin, and bin. I honestly thought Scam wouldn't bother with Land Line of the Void because of Voidwalker. And Voidwalker seems like you already have four anti-hate cards in your main. So why would you worry about, you know, doing it in, in the sideboard? But I suppose the fact that I've never actually played Scam is coming to light right now. I don't think this guy's going to salt off like the other guy. Right? I'm not sure if he salted off or if he just decided uh, he wasn't even a fan of the deck he was playing. <laughs> It's hard to say. All right, what did he get rid of? He got rid of the scrapwork mutt because he wants to hit me with a Ragavan. Sure, hit me with a Ragavan. Do it, big guy. If he exiles one of my hate pieces, I'm gonna be sad. What does he get? Creeping Chill, that's fine. I'm happy not drawing Creeping Chill right now. Come on, deck. A fetch land. That does me nothing. So I'll just fetch and get Sacred Foundry. Well, uh, Thrilling Discovery. Yes, I will use Thrilling Discovery's things. Get rid of a land. Get rid of Stinkweed Imp. They're not going to help us right now. We found Nature's Claim. Okay, that's good. So next turn, we get to get rid of the Ley Line of the Void. And then the turn... No, no, we get to get rid of the Ley Line of the Void. And we even get to start searching. We don't have any black mana for Dark Blast just to get rid of Ragavan. So he's going to get one more hit on us. But hopefully he doesn't find anything of note. Ray of Revelation. Well, kind of wish I drew that. So it's our turn now. The Arid Mesa get... Uh, we have to go get a Stomping Ground. Stomping Ground, sir. Opponent gets to go up for life. We go red, red. Arctic Reunion discarding the Cavern and the Dark Blast. Okay. Oh, oh my God. Deck more salvage. You, you are my favorite. Uh, we do have to draw one card. Yep. Kapowi and Kapowi. We even found another Ray of Revelation, so... If he just tries to cast another Ley Line of the Void, we can just bamf it, which is pretty cool. We are at 15 and they do have a thousand mana. So if they just ca start casting Furies, then that's really sad. But considering how this game started, I think we put up quite a good fight. Right, they hit us with Ragavan one more time. Set this on my keep, set a stop to try and otherworldly gaze our way out of this problem. Please don't hit anything of Creeping Chill. <laughs> oh no, he hit, uh, not Creeping Chill, Thug. He really should not cast Thug. Thug would end quite poorly for him. <laughs> Sure. So when that dies, it goes to my graveyard, uh, and then I could put it back on top of my deck and dredge it into the bin. So, sure. Maybe he's just trying to kill me quickly. But on my upkeep, we go ahead and cast Otherworldly. Let's see. Everything goes to the bin. Hey, graveyard, graveyard. I don't know why it goes graveyard. We'll go to draw. We dredge the Dark Blast. Narcomoeba, sure. There's even a little blocker, which also means we could just put... If we block our own thug, which probably isn't right, we could... um then put a Narcomoeba back on top of our deck and replay it. What we're actually going to do is just Cathartic Reunion. This card or two Dark Blasts. Dredge, dredge just more and more here. All right, so I think we might have turned this game a bit. I mean, they definitely have some number of Furies, which is going to be unfortunate because he has a million mana and like he wasn't playing stuff. We're going to even play the deck more salvage so that we can start to dark blast some of these problematic creatures off the board. Also, like our graveyard is pretty stacked at the moment. And here comes our prized amalgams. There should only be two, though. One and here comes two. Yep, that's fine by me. There's even a scrapwork mutt in the bin now. We haven't had a chance to actually play that. <laughs> I mean, obviously an ox would be better, but I, I wouldn't say no to a scrapwork mud either. Oh, we win the match. Okay, two and oh, technically, kind of, sort of. Sounds great. Let's go to the next one. All right, our opponent has won the roll off, but again, little does he know that's exactly what we want. <laughs> uh, we did not find the card to do that. <laughs> um, do we? I mean, technically, this counts as a red card. It's not a very powerful red card, but it is a red card. So let's try it. I mean, it's a new card. I want to try it. If we draw another, um, it's Tron again. Oh, is this this first guy? Play Arid Mesa and pass. So I might not even show the first game if this is this guy again, if he actually stays and plays the full games. So he won game one, but his deck is like a weird combo deck. And it took him so long to show me what he was doing. 
Uh, admittingly, I didn't scoop. But if this is this guy again, like, I just won't show the first match where I won because it was kind of dull. And we'll just do it, you know, show the second match if he sticks around. If he doesn't stick around, then I don't, I don't know what I'll show. That's that's kind of lame. All right, draw. Prized Amalgam. All right, Sacred Foundry. Sure thing. Play Scrapwork Mutt. Right, and we discard our Stinkweed Imp. We draw a Stinkweed Imp. Okay, got some stuff going on in the bin. Uh, no more ways to really multi-draw, and all of our prized amalgams are in our hand. So we kind of want to find an ox pretty bad. Uh, our opponent's got an Ancient Stirring, probably for a Karn. Urza Mine. Oh, okay. So he just has it. Does he Karn, and then does he just find... <sighs> if he just finds the Karn, this is very similar to what happened last time I played this guy. Opponent's in the tank. Could he be in the tank on? Like, either you have the Karn, and you blow up my graveyard, or you don't have the Karn, and you play whatever it is in your hand. I swear to God, if this guy's win trading, and I have to sit here for... <laughs> oh, man, that's gonna suck so much much. Did I get caught up in wind traders? Oh no, he's doing stuff. No, it is Karn the Great Creator. Okay, I'm not sure what he was thinking about. He's gonna go get Tormod's Crypt. Play Tormod's Crypt and then like, I kind of have to do it without. Yeah, there's Tormod's Crypt. So now Scrapwork Mutt is just gonna hit Karn and we're gonna hope we draw a fetch land. Uh, you know what? I bet you I can even dredge this. We're gonna, we're gonna make him make the decision. So we'll go to combat and just hit Karn. Oh, sure, he doesn't now. I mean, lucky for him, I don't actually have any red cards. Otherwise, that would have been really silly. But I, I actually don't have any red cards. So he got me, I suppose. Cityscape leveler. I mean, oh, and then he just Karns it. That's kind of funny. All right. Uh, no, nothing on upkeep. We can go to draw. Gemstone caverns. Not exactly what I'm looking for. Uh, we do get to scrap mutt, though. So red and whatever. Scrappy boy. This card Stinkweed Imp. I don't think we're going to beat a Cityscape leveler. Oxes. Little late to the party, Oxes. But let's see if we can do enough where um the Oxes might be able to save us. I mean, then again, he only has to hit us like twice or three times with that leveler. And as he does it, he's going to start destroying our lands and turning them into power things. So actually, I think we're pretty dead. Ooh, Karn liberated. That's even more fun. Uh, I might have mistaken this guy for someone else. I'll have to go back and look at the footage. I thought this was a guy playing a grinding station Tron list, but he could just be playing a different Tron list. Trinisphere. All right. I think it's pretty safe to scoop here. How do we stop that? <laughs> I guess we could just bring in our anti anti artifact cards. Take out like some of these guys here. Take out here. Try and blow up his stuff. All right. For some reason, I said I wanted to be on the play because I forget sometimes what I'm doing. So we'll mull. This is honestly fine. Keep put a creeping chill back. Love to be able to put the other one back too, but no dice. Play the arid mesa and ship the turn. Okay. If there was ever time to draw one of my hate pieces, that'd be great. That would be just super cool and awesome. Uh, I need white man. All right. We didn't draw it. <laughs> Um, let's pull, I guess, black mana out in case we need it. All right, so white and red. Thrilling discovery. Get rid of the prized amalgam and the dark blast and hope really hard dark blast saves us. Dark blast, you betrayed us and you drew us a creeping chill? Ugh, I feel so, I feel so awful. And unfortunately, we don't have the mana to um, ancient grudge either. We have plenty of mana though, so next turn we'll scrap work mutt and you know, do all the mana stuff, but now he is going to be able to Ancient Stirrings a bit. Or there's just Sylvan Scrying. Okay, this must be a different guy. This is just regular Tron. So I apologize, Tron player. I mistook you for another Tron player. You you all look the same on me. What do we draw? More lands. Well, I mean, there's worse things to find. So we want to play out the Stomping Ground. We want to keep that uh, untapped. We'll Scrapwork Mutt which actually helps the prize amalgam too. And let's discard Dark Blast and draw Dark Blast. We find two Creeping Chills to match the two in our hand. <laughs> so crunchy, crunchy. I mean, we've recovered as best as we can here if we're being completely honest. Now, if he just has a Karn in hand, there's very little we can do about that. But next turn, we do get to Ox of Agonis if our opponent just doesn't have literally the cards he needs. But then again, he might be a better Magic the Gathering player than I. And I, I also do owe him an apology because he is not the Tron player I thought he was uh, at the beginning of the match. So you you guys will have to see both Tron matches because that other deck that the guy won the first one and ran away from is weird. O Stone is fine. I'm not worried about O Stone. So go away. I'm gonna try and build my board here. Great, Richard Thug. We are not quite in oxing range, are we? I love how Ox of Agonis, of all the cards, like even Croxa is less than Ox of Agonis. Honestly, if Ox of Agonis was a Croxa right now, it'd be better. <laughs> 
that's the level of nonsense I'm dealing with. Uh, play Scalding Tarn. Go to combat. We're actually going to get a Silver Smoke Ghoul back because we could just cast Creeping Chill and then get another creature. I realize that might be absolutely way too slow versus Tron, but, you know, when in Rome. All right, we have all the colors. Woo, Berg. Woo, Berg. Look at all those colors. Anyway, our opponent's trying to figure out what's going on. <laughs> I mean, hopefully we get to steal this one and go to a game three now that I know it's just mono green Tron. Ooh, does he have a... Oh, no. Warping Whale. Oh, man. Uh, okay, that got us. But it, but on the other hand, we absolutely get to um, Ox next turn. I also realized we could have Oxed this turn uh, with the fetch land, but I am a silly, silly boy. Thing there. He can just O-Stone whenever he feels like it. What's this? Oh, putting out of hand that's fine that means he can't o stone this turn so we want to find more oh we have an ancient grudge we just get to do it again <laughs> not entirely sure what the thought process was there but hey buddy i got another one so kapawi so much for that eh? uh we should have at least one more land in there two more lands uh is there anything else we want to do before we discard our old hand probably not so if we get blood crypt is probably more important and no no reason to pay the life because there's no conflagrate in this deck so red red actually no we do this after combat in case somehow he kills the prized amalgam okay great uh there there's no way we creeping chill him out though which is a thing one two three four five six seven eight eight cards that do nothing all right now our graveyard gets nice and packed and we are able to just do a whole bunch of imp things um do we want a dark blast no need a eh? buggy so if he has another o stone then bravo you got us I guess also Ugin gets us pretty hard. Did I summon Ugin? Oh, just Karn. Okay, Karn does not do it. Because he can eat the Ox of Agonis if he truly wants to, but then we put him to one. Uh, we might as well set a stop for otherworldly gaze in case we find anything of note. All right, so blue and whatever. And whatever, because we're not dealing with any other colors. So graveyard, graveyard, graveyard. There's another Narcomita thing we can pull a thug i believe There's no reason not to we can even scrap yard mutt and get him unless he has another warping whale we're not even gonna do that we're just gonna attack heck everybody oh hey we got there game three okay that worked quite well um i mean we found the ancient grudges i don't think there's much more we want to do be completely honest that seemed to work rather well so let's run it back all right so they chose to play first and we have a gemstone cavern so keep play gemstone caverns give up on narcomy but now our hand is on Awesome. We're like a progenitus. Now our hand's awful. <laughs> All right. Unless we find Ancient Grudge off the top of the deck, which would be hilarious. Please deck. Gemstone Cavern. Nope. All right. So we're just going to try and get him to crack. So red, red, cathartic reunion, discarding Mutt and Imp. You know, that's fine. I'll get rid of Mutt. Come on deck. Come on deck. No. Okay. Well, that turned out quite bad. And now our opponent can just hold up Relic. And once they get going, we really don't have a ton of ways of stopping that. So, like, next turn, we just try and... Uh, oh, no, they're just going to do it now? Really? Expedition map. I guess they're they're off the graveyard hate plan. We didn't really lose anything either. So, I am okay with what just happened. A thrilling discovery. We even get to gain our life back. So, crack this. Go get something. Probably stomping ground. Untapped in case we find... Uh, well, actually, it could have been anything, because gemstone caverns can be anything. So, anyway... <laughs> That's a thing. Yeah, discard these two cards because they're the ones going to help us find more cards. Sort of found us cards. Sort of found us more cards. We do get a, a, a smoke ghoul, which is nice. Um, we keep up dark blast as well. We didn't find a... Uh, oh, we get two smoke ghouls. They're the only two in the deck, I believe. We didn't find any... Um, prized amalgams though okay so they have to take an entire turn off to do this but then now they have tron turn three but they only have two mana chromatic star turns it to green ancient starring this is going to be the comeback of a century all right upkeep draw uh stinkweed in please <laughs> three creeping chills you say oh man i am just in the land of milk and honey uh yeah uh i guess there's a world where we find another scrappy dude and do lethal that way because there's only one right yeah okay Okay, so if we find another scrappy dude, we can get lethal. But let's go with red. No, we have to use this mana red because we'll have to use the gemstone cavern if we find it. So discard imp and imp. Two imps and third imp. Come on, we got to find it. Okay, we found it. So this should be lethal. Oh, but I already played a land, didn't I? Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, no, I am. I am still going to win. So play this. Keep the new one. Go red anything. Play Scrapwork Mutt, trigger trigger everything, and we win the match. There you know. Okay, that's two Tron decks down and one Scam deck. Let's do another one. All right. We are currently riding high. 
Uh, I chose to play first because I'm a silly, silly person, but I'll go ahead and keep because this is actually a fine regular dredge hand. I, I forget I'm supposed to be on the draw. Wait, like 99% of the decks out there, you want to be on the play. I want to mold to six cards. Fascinating. Uh, by the way, there is a moth in my room. Uh, if he hits me in the face, I am going to make the sound of a very young child while I shriek. It, it seems to just be a thing that happens when you move to Australia and any bug hits you in the face that you have no <laughs> real control over. So we'll, yeah, we'll just wait. Let's see what he's up. Field of Ruin. That actually gets us pretty hard. Ether Vial. So it's Merfolk? Merfolk, Merfolk? Uh, I'll get a Steam Vents just in case. Gives us most of the colors of the ramp here. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, no, we'll just play Sacred Fence. The life should be inconsequential, he says, before he gets blown out by wasting two life. Stinkweed Imp and Golgari Thug. Hopefully we find a way to put Ox in the bin or we find another Ox. Or that will happen. That was not great. Oh, we do have a Scrapwork Mutt, though. I don't know if we put Ox of Agonis in the bin with Scrapwork Mutt, especially when we have our creatures coming back. The Field of Ruin and an Aether Vile. This might be Taxes. I don't know if Merfolk plays... No, this is just taxes. Okay. We should be okay. I forgot about Batter Skull. Lion Sash. Oh, okay. Um, okay, folks, if you are playing against Dredge, you should really, really, really um, not get Lion Sash. You should get Batter Skull because I can't get past that. So what are we doing? I guess we can Scrapyard Mutt. Let's get a land out of our deck. Uh, yeah, it can be anything. So let's get a Blood Crypt. We're gonna use all our mana doing this. The Mutt, cool. Let's card Imp, draw Imp. Okay, get a couple of things coming out. That means another Silver Smoke Ghoul is gonna hit the field. Lion Sash, like, it'll do a little bit of work, but not a lot of work. Unless he already has Culture Complete or Batter Skull in his hand, in which case... My boy, you got me. I have nothing for Batter Skull Game 1. I barely have anything for Culture Complete other than just trying to go wider. Do they feel any need to block here? The only good block is Silver Smoke Ghoul. Scrapwork Mutt. Scrapwork Mutt was going to exile itself anyway. So not sure why they did that. Maybe they were just confused as to what they saw there. Blast Zone. Well, that might actually become annoying in a minute. In a right now, though, it's actually fine. We draw another land. We actually have enough land in our hand to play Ox of Agonis after two turns. So... If we just hard cast Ox of Agonis, that's another thing to take off my bucket list. So you can flash in Lion Sash, but it can only take one thing, and I don't actually have any dredgers in my yard right now. Oh wait, DG, I know you. So I actually know this guy. Let's see if he re replies at all. I don't know if he's looking at the chat or not. I mean, admittedly, as you can see, I, I don't leave mine on screen either. So for those of, those of you who don't know, DG is another small-time YouTuber much like myself. He does primarily death and taxes. Uh, stuff. Looks of a gonus soul read there. Uh, but yeah, uh, check out his channel out. I'll go ahead and link it. Good guy. Uh, upkeep, yeah, I got nothing. Scrapwork Mutt, that's funny. Do I just Scrapwork Mutt and discard Ox of Agonis? No, because I guess he has Lion Sash, so I guess the first thing we do is swing. We see what he does. Can I get on Discord and bother DG? There's the Lion Sash. We kind of saw this coming, but if he's just chump blocking with it, that's not anything terrible to worry about. Okay, I've messaged DG. Let's see if he realizes who he's up against now. Uh, anyway, <laughs> now that now that we're done playing that game, Scrapwork Mutt, discard Ox of Agonis, and then... <laughs> He, he scoops, all right, to sideboard. Uh, definitely Ancient Grudges. Nature's Claims, maybe. I don't know if we need to go that deep. Prismatic Endings might even be fine. What's bad, I suppose, is what I should be asking. I mean, all of it's kind of fine. Dark Blasts are great. Maybe, again, we can nip some of these. Because we do need some anti-hate pieces. Again, it's full taxes, so he probably even has enchantments. So what if we just go Ray of Revelations and Ancient Grudges? And then we just have to cut two more things. So we can cut a thug and a ghoul. And we try it like that. They choose to play first, which very much means we're going to mull and hope we find something cool. I mean, <laughs> it's fine to me. Put an ox back. If he has graveyard hate, like right off the bat, he has graveyard hate right off the bat. Um, you don't have any. Oh, no, we have Dakmore Salvage. So we actually get rid of Ox of a Ghost, as sad as that is. All right, nothing out of our opponent on his first turn. What do we draw? Prize Amalgam. So you know what? We might as well go get... I guess it doesn't matter at this point because we have one that does every color. So we'll go get the Blood Crypt. Play Scrapwork Mutt. Ditch the... Pro oh, no, Brian! You were supposed to ditch the Dredger. You're too busy <laughs> trying to talk to the guy on another app that you didn't pay attention, you silly person. Oh, no. Well, honestly... I'm kind of okay with what happened all of a sudden. How do we stop? I don't think we have anything in our deck that stops Sanctifier. Uh, just play this. 
just play i don't know steam vent play out our silver smoke ghoul after we attack with scrapwork mutt yeah taxes has a bit for dredge sanctifier is certainly one of them because now we are relying solely on scrapwork mutt to get there oh no that is not gonna work All right untap and we draw a thrilling discovery so like, what's our plan here? We can discard Dak more and Thrilling to, like, try and find stuff? What did he get? He got Batter Skull. That is awful. So we kind of have to go for it. So red, white, Thrilling Discovery. Use the ability. Get rid of these two. And I think we just draw a card, draw a card, draw a card. Okay. We at least found Ancient Grudge which means we get to swing it with Scrapwork Mutt and we get to stop Batter Skull from ruining our deck. But I feel like we're really behind the eight ball at this point. The Sanctifier is just, just a brick wall. When it goes to combat, DG is not recording at the moment. He's just kind of chilling out practicing. Uh, We'll just draw. Sanctifier's still there. Dark Blast. Okay, that could even do something later. But right now, we'll just swing with Scrapwork Mutt. Only so that... When Batter Skull comes out, hello Batter Skull. Uh, yeah, and then uh, I got some bad news, <laughs> Powie. No returning Batter Skull to your hand. Touch the Spirit Realm. He could touch the Spirit Realm, the Batter Skull. Oh man, that that one hurts. That that might got us. That might have gotten us. <sighs> How do we beat Batter Skull right now? Comes in with the two creatures. I guess because Sanctifier just has us on lock. I mean, we can just not attack, I suppose. Stinkweed Imp. That actually stops Batter Skull, kind of. Because that'll kill with uh, its pseudo-death touch. What's what's the plan here? Oh, no. That's very unfortunate. Our opponent is playing a, a very good deck. <laughs> Uh, if it wasn't for the fact that my Death and Taxes video was not too long ago, I'd probably be playing the same thing. But here we are. Scrap work, Mutt. But I needed that. All right. What's his plan now? I mean... Suppose we can block with uh, Imp. The problem is they can just keep putting that to their hand and we lose our Imp. They can even just put it on Solitude and just make a really big Solitude. Yeah, we'll just draw. Cathartic Reunion. Well, they haven't put it back to hand, so you know what? We'll see if they even figure something to do. Here. We'll play Prized Amalgam and we'll swing with Silver Smoke. If they put batter skull on solitude or or even if they just put it on sanctifier i think if they put it on sanctifier we scoop but if they bounce it back to their hand just to replay it like that that honestly is not as scary is this another solitude oh he's putting charge counters on his own oh to just wipe you know what we're gonna go ahead and, and gg this so that's enough of that. What do we have against Sanctifier? Do we... Oh, Priz. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Priz comes in. Uh, we can get rid of these last two otherworldly gazes and just give up on blue mana. Just outright. I'm even going to give up on an ox and try that. Right? Why did I hit? I was playing first. I don't know why I did that. Um, cool. That was a mistake. Otherwise, this would be a much better hand. We are going to keep it, though, because it has the anti-hate piece and we can get white mana off the scalding tarn so fine by brian we can get rid of this there's no blue cards in our deck anymore. so yeah. Ooh, okay that's perfect that even gives me something i can dark blast so blood crypt cool oh that was silly of me because now i don't have any way of getting white mana hope i draw land on deck oh <sighs> well i might have just shot myself in the foot really hard but let's see what we can get away with what do we got another planes and pass that's probably the best we could have hoped for uh do we want to draw land let's try and get away with our mistakes <laughs> okay, here that. Play a Blood Crypt untapped. Attack with a mighty 1-1. One, one. I don't think we're going fast enough to win this. Taxes is a little bit more of a tempo deck and will absolutely just kind of eat our face if we don't go faster. I mean, we're, we're like one drop, two drop, three drop here technically, but not by much. Boy, I wish this had a luck counter on it. Passes again. Hate to see it. I mean, we managed to luck our way into it thus far. So let's go ahead and just swing with everything. They have something with flash. They have something with flash. <sighs> Evoked solitude. What are they targeting? Luckily for me, dark blast my own thing. Oh, but if they have an ephemerate, this is really bad. Oh, no, they don't. Woo. Okay. Okay. So that should even come back because we, we, um, creeping chilled. So both of them should come back. Yay. Hollowed moonlight. No. All right. So we lose our two silver smoke ghouls. Uh, but if that's their graveyard hate, then that's not the worst. Just don't play the thing I can't remove because I didn't get white mana. Don't, don't do me that dirty. Oh no, they pass. Okay. We even have a dark blast we can pick up. Another creeping chill. So we're dealing as much damage as possible. Yeah. I'm going to hold on to my deck more. Field of Ruin, that can just blow up one of our things. Stoneforge Mist. Okay, well, what are you what are you getting? Batter Skull. Okay, so that's going to get double darked. Dark Blast and Dark Blast. Okay, well, we managed to put Dredgers in our yard again. 
our slowest dredgers ever, but they seem to be doing the job. Okay, so now we found ox. So things are much better now. Red, red. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Get rid of dark plus eight. Oh, don't tell me you have an... Okay, good, 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 good. Thought it was going to have another hollowed moonlight. Imp, dark blast, dark blast. Scrapwork mutt in the yard, but we don't have mana to cast it right now. Swing with the meatbuzz. He can just play batter skull next turn, though, I suppose. If he just has a land. EG in the tank and goes for it. Please don't have a land. If you have a land and just get to cast batter skull, that's actually quite unfortunate for us. It's only a 4-4, four, four, though. I guess with double dark blast, we can, we can still attack in with ox and narcomy, but pretty safely. Really tanking the decision here. If they have the land, they should really just play out Batter Skull. Lion Sash, sure. And that can turn into a 3-3. Three, three. Okay, so I have a million ways to... Oh, we can't Ancient Grudge because we don't have the mana. Uh, we can Scrap Work Mutt, though, on his response, Dark Blast. All right, we just swing. Has to block the Ox so we can swing with Thug, no problem. Evoked, oh no. Solitude continuing to uh, ruin my day here. Runes, sure. No, 29. Oh, they're going to attack with Lion Sash? I guess because it can't possibly block. Long. Or not. <laughs> That's also fine. Oh, I guess they do. They've changed their mind. Oh, nope, nope, nope. There they go. Eat the Dark Blast in the Thug, right? Ancient Grudge. I don't have any green mana. I will take Thug. No dice there. Good news is I have more flyers in my... So unless he can stop my flyers, next turn is lethal. All right. Do you have a way to stop the Stinkweed Imp and the Narc Amoeba? Hollowed Moonlight. Okay, cycling for Hollowed Moonlight. Uh, whatever enters the battlefield, venture into... Sure. You gain a life off the first room of a dungeon. If you can, that's actually kind of annoying. Yeah, they can gain one life. Keeps him alive. I'm still at a million life, so this is fine. Pull the Dark Blast back to our hand. Another Narc Amoeba, that's good. Oh, and a Scrapwork Mud. That doesn't actually do anything. All right, so I guess the first thing we do is swing, because we're not going to get rid of this 3-3. Three, three. Put him to one. All right, and then... Do we have any more Creeping Chills in the deck? Creeping Chill, Creeping Chill. Okay, so there's some Creeping Chills left in the deck, right? So I guess we try and Scrapwork Mutt. Red and Colorless. Uh, discard the Thug. Pick up the Thug. Didn't find it. All these things happen. We now get our prized Amalgams, though. Our opponent said LOL misplay. DG apparently uh, forgot they had a Batter Skull in hand, I'm willing to bet. <laughs> Oh no, they would have died because they wouldn't have had the life. Play for fun. Ah, sort of fire and ice. Okay, let's sort of fire and ice on that. So it just gets to beat me up, but I don't die, I don't think. <laughs> yep, ventures into the dungeon. Uh, no reason to block. I'm at a million. All right, and that is the game. GG, buddy. Catch you next time. All right, we won the die roll. Do we want to go first? Probably not. We could probably confuse our opponent and give them the, the first. Uh, this is actually funny, guys. So there's a video, uh, there's a there's a match you're not going to see because the guy scooped even earlier than the guy who won round one. Uh, so we're going to keep this. And this was the hand we had uh, in the one where the guy scooped super early. If we can find something with otherworldly gaze, that'll be amazing. Ink Moth Nexus Ornithopter. So some kind of hammer time. Bring Leaf Drum. They plan the hammer? Giver of Runes. Okay, well, you know, I kind of wish we got to play that other one as our last one. I mean, I guess we could say we're technically 5-0 before Hammer Time stomps all over us. I need to go get a blue, I think. And then we'll just pass. We'll we'll make it look like we're not dredge in case he does just... Because if he, if he gets the um the hammer next turn, we're just going to scoop. Don't forge mystic. Okay. What do they get? Probably the hammer. I mean, cauldron complete. That's surprising. Don't get me wrong. It's correct, but it's surprising. All right. Do we scoop now and not let him know what we are? Because they are pretty ahead right now. And we have no way of stopping cauldron. Or do we try an otherworldly gaze? But they'll immediately know what we're up to if we otherworldly gaze. They'll know it's dredge. I'm going to early scoop and try and bamboozle them. So it's hammer time. So we want the ancient grudges. We want nature's claims. Maybe even pris endings. Uh, let's see. I'm going to just give up on that. Give up on two smotes as well. Still need two cards. So two thugs. Now we have a ton of answers. I don't know. Maybe that's too many answers. No, I still don't want to go first. Uh, that's too many gemstone caverns. I don't, I don't think that's where we're at. So let's mull. This is slightly better. We have no dredger, but we have other stuff. I don't know, maybe one more. Okay, we'll keep this. We'll get rid of Creeping Chill. We'll get rid of the Steam Vent and we'll play it like that. Our opponent's probably confused because we gave him the play and we haven't shown him what we were doing, but unfortunately our first hand had way too many gemstones to be good. We just play Arid Mesa and pass and we hope really hard they give us something we can Dark Blast. If they give us like a um, Esper Sentinel, that'd be great. Here, Steel Paladin. Okay, so we, we're really gonna wanna hope that we can Dark Blast that guy. So we'll go get a black. In fact, we're even going to... I don't have enough mana to double We'll get this guy. We're going to do this just to get the dredger, though. Oh, we can't use nature's claim now. That's not the first time I've screwed that up tonight. Bloop. 
doesn't do it. So play this tapped and we pass. I don't think they'll have much graveyard hate though. They probably thought we were some sort of ragavan because we went from blue fetch to blue land. They're just attacking. That's fine. Yeah, we'll just let this go. Esper Sentinel. Yep, sure thing. Unfortunate stick. Well, we'll kill the Esper Sentinel. We'll let them draw. <sighs> And like, we're going to rip the Golgari Thug and hope that there's an Ox in our top four and that's how we win. <laughs> oh man, unfortunately, not enough mana. But they grab Colossus Handline. So unfortunately, they're going to hit us for a million, but we're going to try our best here. The discard Stinkweed Imp. Why can't I do his ability? There we go. Found a Narc Amoeba. Okay, so we'll have we'll have some chumpy blocks, which is good. We're going to have to chump quite a bit. <laughs> Attack with uh, Mr. Mud here. We didn't get any green mana, which is really going to bite us hard though. We, we can Prismatic Ending though, if we had them in our hand, which we won't because we're about to just go off with dredge so they'll have two artifacts after the hammer sanctifier that's actually a major problem because they thought we were a ragavan deck. that that is very unfortunate oh no i think we just got absolutely champed here guys right at the end couldn't couldn't well we already got our our 5-0 because the guy who early scooped but not not much we can do about this uh yeah we have to block because you have a hammer hammer that just turned off all of our stuff and uh yeah unless we draw one of our prison endings we did not draw a prison ending. at least we can get our green now and oh no both of our green were in the yard pumping ground there's only one and it's in the yard okay we're screwed so i guess we get a blue just try and uh think we'd imp i don't i don't see any way we get out of this but we'll try it's the last one of the night no attacks just for it there's the hammer that's fine they just need one more artifact and then they can uh, move it around at instant speed right that's not an instant speed it has to be before oh no they can just okay cool and we're done seeing the wrap up okay so uh, we didn't quite <laughs> win every match we had tonight, but we did win five. So technical five and oh, even though one of the matches, the guy disliked his own deck so much, he stopped playing it after one game, decided it wasn't worth continuing playing. And one of the games uh, that I didn't bother putting in the video, the guy saw we were on dredge and just, just left. He just left immediately, which is unfortunate because it had a really good opening hand, but it wasn't worth putting in the video. And as we saw, we lost a hammer time right there at the end. But hey, hammer time's a really good deck. You can't be too upset about it. Uh, Scrapwork Mutt is great i honestly think it's amazing in these dredge decks it does stuff in the graveyard sometimes it's just being a hasty 2-1 attacker won us games and the fact that it's rummage where you get to discard and then draw means it plays very very nicely in dredge and also it's not a red or a black card so it's the only thing that dodges sanctifier invec which pretty much invalidates this deck or it invalidates this deck when you have an idiot who doesn't know how to fetch so yeah scrapwork mutt amazing i'm gonna play it in paper i reckon i really really like it uh, another shout out to DG. I'm going to go ahead and put his channel down in the description of this video. DG, friend of the channel. You saw I kind of hit him up on Discord in the middle of the match because uh, I finally recognized who it was. So DG, thank you for being part of this video. If you guys like Death and Taxes, I highly recommend DG's channel listed below. And I'm sure we'll have uh, more rival matches between me and him in the future. All right. You can send me any list or type of deck you want me to play to. Hey, dummy, play this at gmail.com. That's hey, dummy, play this at gmail.com com now as always i can't promise i'll play everything because time and budget is a thing but i respond to every email that's sent to me because i let's be honest i don't get that mad. so thank you guys very much for making it all the way to the end of the video i look forward to seeing you guys next time and later